Today's tutorial of the day will be the circle of Willis. So, um, how to draw it? Well, step one, I start by drawing a hexagon. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be a type of hexagon. And then I draw the two antennae, which I, which is the anterior cerebral artery. And then this one here between them is the anterior communicating artery. Okay. And then I also um, label the posterior communicating artery. So next we draw the little pincers. So this is the ophthalmic artery. And the internal carotid, which come from the middle cerebral artery. Next, we start by adding on the tail and the back legs. So this is your posterior cerebral artery. And this is your basilar artery. Then um, I draw six lines horizontally through them. The four middle lines are shorter. So this larger line up here represents the superior cerebellar artery. And the lower one is the anterior inferior cerebellar artery. And these small ones in the middle represent the pontine artery. Arteries. Um, and then we add in the vertebral arteries on each side. So getting there now, so we have a branch that comes here between them. And that's the anterior spinal artery. And then another little bit on each side that comes down, and that is your posterior inferior cerebellar artery, or pica, and then your posterior spinal arteries. And then you can also see from this that you have two posterior spinal arteries, but only one anterior spinal arteries. And the two posterior normally supply about a third of the spinal cord, and the anterior can supply about two thirds.